Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMG Let's Play of Enigma. When we left off, holy crap, everything is changing. Um, apparently now there's a team of people who are attacking us, and me and Yuna are the only two survivors. Everyone else has been captured. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's crazy how much this stuff has changed. Okay, let me see if my little medallion tells me what I should do next. Maybe a good idea to look at the rooms on the second floor, which were locked before. Okay, that's not any different. That is actually going to be up this way. So I'm not too sure how much is going to change. Oh, no. Wait, do they look different? He does. Whoa. You Okay, you do stab me. Huh, they look different. That's actually really, really interesting. I am curious about that, but I need to run for my life right now. I don't need to be worrying about that right here, right now. It's okay, though. He doesn't see me. What is... He looks so weird. So weird. Huh. That's cool. There's so many little things in this game that are just really, really cool that I really enjoy. And I'm having so much fun playing this game. I had no idea how long of a game it really was, how much I was really going to be doing. But I can't complain. For five bucks, this is amazing. Okay, I've never noticed such a place. This place was always locked, so no one really cared. True. And it doesn't look like anything else has changed here. Got some matchsticks. Okay, let's go into the other room. Huh, what is that? Here it was, a secret passageway. A secret passageway? I think the person who built this house in the day old days seems to have made the secret passageways throughout the house. Why would anyone make such a thing in its own house? Well, it was in the past. Many things could have happened in the past. The owner of the house may have needed secret ways to sneak out of the house. The history book says that much instance, uh, such instance, incidences, why can't I read as well? For example, the re rebellion of the slaves or the dispute against political parties. Being rich is not always easy, I guess. In the old days, the public security was not enforced. I don't think our house is so secure now. Well, how should I put it? I don't think it's a problem with the public security anymore. A group of people and clad in the same uniform is acting as a group ordered by radio transceivers. This is in no way a petty theft. Their purpose may not be the money. Anyway, we may be able to get out of this house easily if we go through this passage. I really hope so. I hope so too. For our own sanity, I hope so. Uh, this place is... What? We are not outside? Hmm. It seems that the passageway led to the basement. How disappointing. I was really hopeful. I know you were. But that's okay. A report in the cabinet. Oh, this is different. I did some preparatory investigation before Chief Choi proposed me to build, uh, proposed me, but the result was rather debatable. Project Enigma. Oh, Ch Chief Choi, Chef Choi named it. Uh, the main objective of the Project Enigma is to invasively explore the mental realm of humans. What? Project Enigma is a variational sub-project of CAI's secret project, Ultra MJ, which is revealed to the world in 1974. Ultra MJ, um in short, is an experimental project in which, aimed, uh, which is aimed to intentionally control the minds of humans to create a perfect marionette. The project, which is used by the human body as subject of the experiment, was exposed to the, by a media company, and the influence of the exposure was so great that the President of the United States had to make an official speech of apology. Oh, we got the President involved! However, most of the data was destroyed by CAI before the exposure so that the details of the experiment were not known to the outside world. Although it could be said that Project Enigma has different perspective for UM, potential danger still lies in the fact that the experiment on human is considered. I do not know how Chief Choi became in charge of such a confidential project and what he is expecting to get from this project. Or maybe I do not need to know. The only thing I need to decide is whether to accept the offer or not. Anyway, all the possibility of danger, the conditions that he offered me are too entrancing to refuse. Of course, a purely scientific uh, curiosity as a scholar is also making me consider joining the project. Okay, Enigma Memorandum 1. That's interesting. Okay, so I actually have reasons to go and explore everything again. Cool. I like that. Got all the chocolate. Okay, so I'm pretty familiar 
with the basement. Why are there so many luggages and all these work of art? You may not have come to this place before because you're always stuck in your room. All these were what mother have collected. They did not fit in the room, so they had to be left in the corridor. Even so, it seems too excessive. There was nothing we could do. Nobody could go against her will. Anyway, watch out. The passage is narrow. I will look around a little bit more. Thanks to Yuna's help, I can see a little bit further away. Oh! Holy cow! I like this very, very much. Okay, so what should I do? I know that I can go to a bunch of the different rooms. I guess I'll go ahead and grab what I can, but I don't see anything lit up here. I thought something lit up over here last time. Maybe not. Maybe not yet. Maybe I'm skipping ahead. I do that sometimes. Because I think I know oh, what I need to do. Me and here, look over there. It's the guys. Oh my god, I was supposed to do that? They must be keeping watch in the middle of the passage. What can we do? They must be patrolling in a fixed pattern. We need to keep. We need to avoid them or hide from them so that we are not found out. But what if we are found out then? Don't we have some kind of weapon? I do have a crowbar. Would it help? Hold on to it for now. You can equip the item in the inventory. Look how insane they look. They got like the one Cyclops eye. All right. Attack. Oh, I don't want to attack. Let's use the let's use the fly swatter. Can I hurt them? Hmm. I don't like this very much. Where are you going? Go. Attack him! Whoa, he vanished. That's not good. Oh, are these people figments of my fa imagination again? I hope not. I hope I'm actually not going crazy like I have been before. That would be really sad and really disappointing. Alright, so Mr. Steward should be in this room. Ah, he's still sleeping. Yes. Mr. Steward! You're still alive! Okay guys, so I met up with the steward and nothing else has changed until I went back to the electrical room and broke down through the wall. You guys know that part, right? With the hammer and everything, all the great jokes. Yes, so we broke in through the wall and we hear some walkie chatter and right now we're like, oops! So let's see what happens. Let's see if he heard us come through the door. Didn't you hear something? What sound? Are you drunk? You are the one who is drunk. You had two bottles already. But the wines are so delicious, and it's so expensive that we cannot even dare to buy it with our salary. Okay, okay, let's wrap up here anyway. If Chief Choi finds out, we'll be fired right away. I know, I know. If we are not here for the salary, I wouldn't work uh, for such a young kid. You're right. I heard he's a perfectionist, but I did not know that he would be that fastidious. Perfectionist? Ha! <laughs> he would do anything to satisfy himself. I almost feel sorry for Subject 001. Shh! <laughs> Do not ever talk about it. You might get in trouble. I know, I know. We only need the money. That's all. Okay, let's stop drinking and go. It's time for shift. Wow, guys. Wow. You guys are in the wine cellar getting drunk. Let's go. <laughs> oh, you silly, silly people. Why can't everybody get drunk? It feels serious to hear them talk. What in the world are they planning to do in this house? I think they mentioned something about a subject. Hmm. It seems that they are employed by someone called the Chief Choi. Anyway, they did not seem to be after the family legacy. Then what could it be that they are after? I cannot think of anything that special in this house. Something special? Could it be me? Really, you know? <laughs> Shall we go, Mr. Steward? Okay, let's. Hey, don't leave me alone. Oh, poor Yuna. Okay, so let's go ahead and take some of this. You can actually take a ton of wine in here, uh, which I learned when I was surging the entire uh, mansion. The only problem is you get really, really drunk, and uh, yeah, he kind of runs around on his own. But it's actually pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good, as opposed to just pretty good. Let's take some ointment. Yeah, let's do another thing of ointment. And do I need a chocolate bar? I think I'll be okay. Alright, so I guess we need to go out this way and see what's going on now. What's up, drunk guys? Is this the pool, I think? 
Ah, the pool again. Okay, so this is going to be another flashback. I'm sure it's going to be entirely the same. Or are we not having a flashback? Do we not get a flashback in the pool now? Okay. Alright guys, so I've made it to the study now. And as you can see, there are a ton of people just crawling around here. And they want to eat my face off. Or I don't know what they want to do. But I have a feeling it's bad. So I'm going to fight. Mr. Stewart, save me, please. <sighs> okay, is the study open? Or is it locked? It's open! Oh! Okay. Yes! Okay, so we put the medallion in. What is going to happen now? They're going to know we're here. Okay. Uh... If anything happens, I'll let you guys know for sure, but I'm guessing we're going to have to read this very long journal entry now, so I'll go back to that and we'll see what, what goes on from here. Okay, this is different. The last part in the journal where it actually tells you the code to the safe is in Meme Hook's ornament, it's not in here. The last page is missing. It didn't cover it. Well, that would be okay. I am more concerned about whether we can get out of here or not. I hope Minwu is safe and Minho as well. I don't really care about Chain or Samoon though. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely different. Wow, that's too straightforward, don't you think? I believe that other family members will be alive somewhere. I hope everyone can reunite soon without a problem. Fortunately, now the security system in the basement is reset, the stairway leading to the first floor must be open. It will be easy to run out of this mansion once we get to the first floor. That's good, let's hurry. Wait, I have an important thing to do before that. What? Huh? What is it? How about having a piece of jelly to soothe hunger? It is quite sweet and delicious. Wow. Oh, I almost forgot that you were going to mention something. <laughs> I almost thought that you were going to mention something really important. It is important to take a rest and recharge yourself before moving to the next step. Whew. Let's take a rest then. We could refresh ourselves a little by taking a rest and showing the jelly that Mr. Stewart offered us. That's really random. Oh, okay. There's a stairway to one... F okay, so we're here now. Let's save... I feel like we're going through this pretty quick. We walked along the dark stairway uh, slowly toward the first floor. Fortunately, nobody was watching the stairway and we could go up easily. Didn't we just take a break? Exactly, Yuna. なあ、いる먹다 you're gonna put in a completely different character now? I've never seen this person in my life. Boy? Boy? Suddenly, a man wearing a white gown appeared upon the emergency stairway. He had blocked our way, narrowing his eyes with a crooked smile. Minyoga, I cannot say it for sure. It seems that I've seen him somewhere. I just hope that it is just a misunderstanding. Database? What? As soon as he ended the sentence, a bunch of guys rushed out from both ends of the stairway and surrounded us. By a ton of people! Oh! They did say he was young. Lab rat? The man who is in Norway normal said that he was the leader of a group and was still smirking at the end of his lips. Jake, 
It was certainly not possible to run through the guys who were filling it at both ends of the stairway. It was certain that all of us would be captured and dragged to somewhere, as other members of the family were. Come to think of it, it was miraculous we would avoid the eyes of so many of me in this mansion without exit till now. Oh, smoke bomb! Ah, what? Yonkiga, Toriyanim, Hichokimida, Chipsanim, Chega This is amazing! This music is so amazing! Holy crap, that's kind of terrifying. Attack the elder. Oh my god, please, yes! Muda, Muda! 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 Uh, pointless in Japanese. I love how he took his glove off, too. <laughs> Young master, I'm not sure how long I can hold them off. Please be safe. Holy scream! Oh, wow. Huff, huff. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Fortunately, nobody is chasing us now. I've never imagined that Mr. Stewart had such an ability. Where on earth did he get the smoke shell? Would he be alright alone? I don't know, I just hope that he is alright. Mr. Steward. I could almost see the jelly that he gave me with a smile. He did not lose control of himself in this desperate situation and took care of us first. But now, we do not even know whether he is alive. We were silent for a while because of the gloomy sense of losing Mr. Steward and the anxiety for the things that could happen next. That Chief Choi guy, he was wearing a white gown. What do you think he is? He seemed to be a scientist of some sort. He was a weirdo. He said he, as if he knew you. Don't you really recognize him? I don't know. You know, I have not been outside the room so much. You're right. You never come out of your room. You're such an otaku. What on earth is he doing at our house? Why does he kidnap people? Well, he said something about experiments. Maybe he's a pervert who is into uh, human experiments. Hmm. If we stay here and get caught, all Mr. Stewart has done for us will be in vain. Let's move on. Would it be okay? What if we get caught again? Do we have any other options? We need to do what we can right now. You're right. Okay! That is very, very different. Holy crap, I didn't know Mr. Stewart had that in him. Ah! Okay, he saw me. It's okay though. I think I can just go away. They don't chase you into the other frames. Okay. Uh, oh, we're on the first floor. Okay. So do we need to go to the dining room? I know what I need to do next. I'm going to keep on pushing forward. I'm not quite sure how long this episode is actually going to be because I've been running around a lot and I know I'm going to skip some of the scenes that you guys have already seen. Um, and plus, the only thing that's really been different is these guys right here that have been wandering these hallways and things like that. But um, if nothing's changed, then I've left it for what it is. What art? Oh, I don't need to get the... I don't need to get the key! I'm so used to doing that, I don't think I need to get the key over here anymore. Maybe it's just open. No, it's locked! 
Is she gonna have a special ability too? Huh? Before I can finish my sentence, Yuna took out a candlestick out of nowhere and was rushing towards the door. Really, Yuna? Really? Yeah! That's gonna let everyone know where we are. Come on, come on in! If we did not stop her from banging on the door so powerfully, she wouldn't have stopped until she drilled the hole in the door. <laughs> She's adorable and crazy. <laughs> How is she surprised by that? I can't either. Oh, there's a key somewhere around here. There is! And I was gonna go for it, but then Yuna decided to beat the door with a candlestick. She is a very brave or very stupid woman, I'm not sure. So this order doesn't change. But it's not going to take too long to get the key for me. So, I don't even know how many times I've done this now. A few times! Alright, got the pavilion key. Save it one more time. I'm going to go into the dining area. And maybe that will be the end of this episode. I feel like I can finish it in the next one though, which would be nice. Um, not saying it's nice to finish Enigma or anything, of course, but it would be nice to be able to see all the endings and get everything done. So let's find out what's going on in the dining room. Okay, so this is the same. But there's no one here this time. Is it real that we used to get along? I cannot believe it anymore. I feel that we would still be in the middle of fighting if it were not for this happening. Well, that's true. Are we being punished for our sins? Wouldn't it be possible that God is punishing our family? Don't say that. We'll be okay. Stop gibbering nonsense. You know nothing. We do not have any hopes and dreams. We'll be dragged away anytime soon and will disappear to no one's knowledge. It's unfair and frustrating. It's not like I've been living such a happy life to compensate for this disaster. Um. It is because we got tired. Yuna, who had been so energetic, suddenly started to be pessimistic. If there is a God, and if he has mercy, I want to beg him to forgive us now. We have been tested and punished enough, but I do not believe the God who threw us down this hell would be so merciful. Or could it be that God does not exist at all? Okay. Well, I guess that is going to have to be where I'm going to end it. I need to figure out how much of this is actually usable footage, things like that. I want, I don't want this episode to be too long and then the next one to be super short. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Enigma and I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play.